<clears throat> Moving on, this is another one of our very, very popular glazes. It's called Mardi Gras. And I hope I can get it to fit in the picture. On the top there's a lotus bowl. And then we do have some chip and dips on their side. This has five different colors on it. It's a combination of a lot of the different glazes that we have. Uh, there's a large platter in the back. And that vase on the right hand side is probably, I want to say about 18 inches tall, 20 inches tall, something like that. The one you see in the front is not. It's about 7 inches tall. See a set of canisters and a teapot. Now this is our mill ring glaze. You're going to see that we do it with three different styles here. The one on the right hand side is got a rutile brush strokes on it. And the one on the left hand side that's the teapot is a mill ring with rutile green dip on the top. There's some more pie dishes in this different brushwork and rutile green. I like birdhouses too. Now I'm going to show you there's hydrangea, pansies, and a lot more um, pearl blue. Some pieces have are just super red. And there's some pieces like that napkin that have pearl blue and super red combined on them. There's a hibiscus pattern that we do there. And there's more of the combination. There's the pearl blue. There's the pearl blue with super red. And there's another chip and dip in the back there. Here's a very pretty berry bowl. Holds about a basket and a half of strawberries or blueberries. Another chip and dip with a little different design. And this is called cranberry. Not as bright as the super red. It has a little more pinks and blues in it. Pansy bowl in the center. And there's the super red. You can see how the difference between the two. There's that one. And there's what the cranberry looks like. Now I'm just going to do a sweep of um, the store where we keep things just stocked in the other rooms. So you're going to find all patterns grouped together by piece. There's kind of a good grape selection of the different pieces that we do for the bathroom. There's a planter, there's a soap dish, there's a Kleenex, there's a dip size bowl which could hold earrings and lots of different things. There's a ring holder in the front and then a lotion pump or soap dispenser in the iris pattern. Lots of tumblers, we do them in various sizes. Here's a nice selection of English garden. Kleenex soap dish two-piece soap dish there in the middle, a couple more lotion or soap pumps, heart box, dog rose there, lotion pump, and we make various baskets. Up on top here you're going to see the mill ring with rutile and it always fires a little different. The tumbler that you see with the ridges in it on the left hand side there that happens to be a woggle tumbler. And it's in Chino, not in Millring. And then I'm just going to pan here. There's a bunch of different shapes of lotion, soap dispensers that we do. And the top threads on to the porcelain piece. And we have replacements for those. Sometimes they wear out over the years. A lot of people get a lot of use for many, many years out of their lotion and soaps. Here, starting at the top, we do sinks. That's a lotus sink. And you're going to see three waste styles of waste baskets. The one on the far side is rutile green with Albert's black on it. 
The one in the center is the pearl blue, and the one on the far side is a poppy waste basket. And you're going to see some toothbrush holders down under there. Another set of mill ring over there. Dropping down, there's some dragonfly. Another beautiful poppy set of bathroom. And then we make more soap dishes. Another sink on the bottom. Swinging over to the planters. We make all different shapes and sizes. On the top there you're going to see flower frogs. And this is a, like a vase or a holder for flowers. There's a pin frog in the center. So you just poke the flower right in there, fill it with water, and it just sticks right up. It's beautiful. Down on the bottom there you're going to see some African violet pots. We make two sizes. There in the center is a large one in peachy country French. And then we have a few more that are smaller there in heart peachy country French. There's an olive one in the back. We make all different sizes of vases, down to these ones that are just like two inches tall. Some votive holders. They all come with a glass top. Oil lamps. Candle pads, bud vases over there. Next size up of vases, these are three to four inches tall. Then up on top we have larger vases. That's a good example of the mail ring with um, rutil green on it. Very shiny on the top. Now I'm at our bowl section make lots and lots of different sizes of bowls. And I'm just going to run through them real quick just so you can kind of get, we make them from two inches across, then we make dinnerware bowls that are three and four inches across, and then, you know, what would hold a salad, which would be this size right here, sit on top of a salad plate. Serving bowls are down here. many different sizes. We make a chopstick bowl. There, let me just run through the colors. The one on the very end is not a chopstick bowl, but that's just black. Just shiny, glossy black. The one next to it is the rutile green. That's the pearl blue. That's the timaku with rutile just a rim on it. Now, if you can see in the back there is the super red. In the back a little further, not very good to see, but that's the mill ring. There's a bowl that's in the Mardi Gras. Down on the bottom there, these are uh, like mixing bowls, and they usually come in a set of three. Next is our ever popular lotus bowl. This is the Timaku. With the root with iron brush strokes, mill ring with the rutile green. There's the Mardi Gras, and one that you haven't seen yet is it's called um, clear blue, uh, clear white, and that it has a cobalt brush strokes on it, so it's just white and blue. Or the Mardi Gras. So I'll pull back a little bit and you can kind of get the different sizes that there are by seeing them all together. Up on top I have a set of pearl blue canisters. That happens to be a five-piece set and it sells for $246. There's some more big bowls in Wisteria. There's the super red. I'm showing you more vases. Country French, heart, pastel iris, English garden, there's a running bunny, then we do, that's a dinner clock, and that's the salad plate clock size. Then we do a full line of casserole. 
and we can give you those measurements when we, when we call and you talk to us if you see one you like there. Then we do soup mugs. There's red, super red. More of the male ring in the green. There's the pearl blue. It's got some beautiful rose burgundy colors on it. Happens in the firing sometimes. We have no control over that. Some more mugs. There's another oval pasta. Great for serving spaghetti in. And there is a grape wall mural. And it's four by four. Four tile by four tile. And the tiles are four by four. This is a very fun pattern. Penny Cloud paints it. And it's our running bunny. And she kind of adds it to different of the patterns. Usually it's English garden, country French. And there's a good example of it. The running bunny. More vases. We make colanders and variables. The colander holds about three baskets of strawberries, which be, would be those there. A little bigger. Holes all the way around and in the bottom. This is the berry bowl size. It holds about a basket and a half strawberries. We do those in every pattern. And we sell a plate with them, but um, a plate is sold separately. You don't have to get the berry bowl plate. It's like a bread size plate. Most of our dinnerware we do not stock. We do custom like that. If someone orders a six piece set, we fire it all together so it looks relatively fired. It's fired in the same kiln load so it'll look, all the glaze will look the same. We do a full line of Christmas pieces. This is just an example of we're starting to paint those this season already. There's more Timaku. Large bowls. And then I'm going to just show you some more multi fruit there. You can get a better look at what the multi fruit looks like. We don't paint very much peach anymore. We used to sell quite a bit, but we don't anymore. But we still paint it. There's a bunch of iris pieces up on the top. There's a colander. You can see what that is look like. And I think that says it sells for 36. Again, on the prices, give us a call or email us and we'll let you know what the different sizes and costs are. Everything is handmade, hand thrown, so it's always going to vary. I do want to show you the batter bowls. We do, like I said, we do everything in every glaze and every pattern. We just have trouble keeping everything in stock all the time. Special orders don't cost anymore. It just takes a little longer to get them in. Usually four to eight weeks, depending on if we have the piece in bisqueware. If we have it in bisqueware, then we can pull it immediately, glaze it up. If it's in the reduction ware, we only fire that kiln once a month, so it takes a little longer than it does for the painted ware. Another piece that I don't know that I've shown you yet is we do creamers and sugars. We do a small set and then we do a larger set. I want to say, let me see. There, you can kind of get in the back is a larger picture and then the creamers, the sugars in the front are a little smaller there. Hmm. Here's a larger set of creamers and sugars stacked. Those are two are stacked together. So a small set and a larger set. Obviously the bottom is green, but on the band of cherries, but that gives you an example of what they look like. Again, here's super red set, and then there's a peachy set that's the smaller. And I just have a few more things to show you, and I'm going to do a quick, quick sweep of our mug tree here. And it's really hard to see. But you can see we have an outrageous amount of mugs. 